Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be giving you reviews of four separate current 2019 LEGO City sets. Because they're all small, just $10 US each, and less than 100 pieces each, in no particular order. Let's start with this one, it's the Desert Rally Racer. Now, you can decide for yourself what you want this to be, whether you want it to be something that would run in the Dakar Rally, or you want it to be a Formula Off-Roader, perhaps, or uh, like, a, like an Ultra 4 type of vehicle that would run King of Hammers or something. You know, whatever type of vehicle you want it to be. It's clearly something very off-roady with the large tires for its size. It's all souped up with the engine popping out of the hood right there with the big intake scoop. Looks like it's strengthened also. Got the bull bar on the front. Probably pretty quick given that it has aerodynamic work done on it. There's one thing that I do not like about this, and that's the use of the preformed chassis piece that they've had around for quite a long time. Uh, just the fact that it ends abruptly, you know, the front part of it, hey, that's, that's all good. But then right here, you're left with that gap, which is very awkward looking to me. But other than that, it's, it's fine. I, I like the color scheme for sure. I like the overall look. That gap just really bugs me personally. I like these uh, kind of fender flares, even though they don't curve all the way around. I think that's fine. This does use mm, quite a few stickers for its size, but that's no big deal because you can easily leave those off and it'll still look very similar. And then you just have the single steering wheel for your figure. He sits right down in there and that's at a appropriate height, I think. You can see the face from the outside. And then the last thing, other than a closer look at the figure, is this blue scorpion. Dark blue color, just a regular Lego scorpion. Uh, open stud on the top, single anti-stud on the bottom. And then here's that driver with the very vibrant color scheme, a regular orange and flame yellowish orange. Contrasted against white. It works though. You know, the two aren't too close to each other. Looks interesting. Maybe they will use this made-up brand for something else in the future. I'm assuming it represents an energy vitamin drink manufacturer. And there's just the face. Of course, no alternate. Lastly, here are the few spares, and naturally there aren't many of them because it's such a small set. Next, this is the construction loader. Call it a skid steer loader, a skip loader. Some people call it just a bobcat even though that's a specific brand name whatever you call it you can see what it is and i think that its construction is actually pretty good for its scale and for the currently available standard pieces from lego this one does have a small side build just a little bit of a leftover section of fence that's in the process of being taken apart so this is on a jumper here nice to get that white picket fence piece in brown here but you know it's just some little extra stuff they had some some spare part budget after making the main build. Let me actually show you the figure first before I put him into the vehicle in the first place. So he comes with a jackhammer as an accessory. That's a standalone thing. So one more additional thing included for him. And he's got the ear protection that's molded in, dual molded in that is, with the construction hard hat. Sand blue for the legs and a pretty good print for the torso with it you know, sh showing clearly that he has a high visibility vest on over his brown button-up shirt. So that's done pretty well, I think. To put him in here, you just rotate the roll cage back, place him on top of a modified tile piece that has only two studs, so it's very easy. He's able to reach forward in the general direction of a couple of control levers there. Bring this down, it's got the lights up on top. Nicely built up around the back, you know, looks pretty well finished there. Does use a few stickers, which definitely add to this, but you can easily leave those off without, you know, without really losing any proper detail. And most importantly, this is able to get its bucket right down to the ground. You're able to get it level with the ground. They've actually failed at this in the past on some construction equipment that has not been able to reach the ground, which is really taken away from the play value of some others. But this is able to get right down there, which is exactly what you want. You can load things up, hold your load nice and low while you're skidding around, you know, as is appropriate. And then you can lift it way up and, and dump it. So 
Uh, the proportions of this look very good, you know, pretty realistic in terms of the placement of everything, the length, the height. I actually like this, having especially operated uh, skid steer, or skip loaders, whatever you want to call them, Bobcats and other companies' ones quite a bit in the past. I'm very fond of these things, and I think LEGO has not done a very good job at them in the past. I think this is the best that they've done to date, and it's just a regular build. It doesn't use, doesn't require any new special pieces or anything. I think it's just good for what it is. I like it. You can even do a wheelie with it, kind of. And there are its spare pieces, again, very few, but there are a couple of nice, useful ones. Next here is the police patrol car, which has the most pieces of the four and really shows just how far Lego has come over the years. The first Lego police car that came with a minifigure in the age of minifigs couldn't even fit a minifig inside of it. It was too small. And after that came a long line of little four stud wide, super, super simple police cars with just a handful of pieces. Now we get this six stud wide, really sleek, you know, speed champions looking sports car, basically. I mean, that thing is, is low and wide and looks powerful and sculpted around the hood. Look, even the, the vents, or the suggestion of vents around the, the back of the hood there. I don't know, is this a front engine vehicle? I would hope this is a front engine vehicle. It looks so mean at the front, but it could be a mid or rear engine vehicle as well but it's just a really nice looking car you know just sleek well finished they could certainly release this as a civilian car as well a suggestion of the exhausts in the center using that relatively recent uh, rounded plate piece a little bit of gap just right there just a little bit but it's not that big of a deal from most angles you're not gonna see that Unless it just kind of gets stuck in your mind now that I've pointed it out. You know, sometimes that happens. This has a little bit of forward rake to it as well. So it, you know, it kind of makes it look a little bit faster. The shoulder line goes up from, from axle to axle by one plate, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I think this is just a really nice looking thing. I mean, to me, it feels almost like it's too nice for the police, given that, that Lego has done so many police vehicles and uh, police things over the years they still do almost you know it's almost a, a generic thing at this point but or has been for quite some time but you know this is this is pretty fancy it even has a printed console in there as well as the steering wheel let me put this on fits right in there again the head is at the correct height so you see the face from the outside it's exactly what you want to see got the suggestion of a lip spoiler on the back it's narrow, but, you know, it helps with the lines. I really like this car. For side items, they just throw in these two two-piece traffic cones, and what you see there is exactly what you get. And for spares left over in the set, just these four. I think the current crop of LEGO police officers look pretty good with the light royal blue color for the shirts. And the printing is pretty crisp. You get a couple of metallic colors in there with the silver and the gold. No print for the legs, but I think that's okay. Yeah, this, this works out pretty well. The one thing that is a strange uh, omission in this set is a pair of handcuffs. They always give handcuffs, and they didn't this time. And last, this set is called Kayak Adventure. And though this one does not have the most pieces of the four covered in this video, remember the police patrol car took that honor, this feels to me like it has the most stuff in it and potentially the most different things that you can do with it. I mean, the kayak technically, theoretically, is not supposed to float. They do say on the box, kayak does not float, but I've previously shown that it can float and just adding a couple pieces, you can make it float even better. It, it doesn't float very well, but it can happen. So this has a, a camera mount on, on the front. Of course, you can use the camera just by itself, but it's nice to get this in this bright yellow color. And, you know, it's fully set up to go. Got the clip on there as well, so everything can stay nice and tidy as a side thing also in this set. They give us just a regular green frog, you know, just to represent a little bit of 
of uh, nature <laughs> that this would be going through. Maybe you can see that along a shoreline and try to take a picture of it. I'll show the figure by itself in a minute, but the truck, you know, the truck itself is actually pretty good as a, as a pickup. It looks, it looks strong with these fenders. Uh, it fits just one figure, of course, you know, that's just the, the normal, normal style for mostly four stud wide Lego city vehicles these days, but the running boards are a little bit wider. Um, this does use a preformed, you know, chassis piece, but to good effect, it actually covers up most of it from the outside. It just makes things more efficient to build in the first place. You got some detail around the back. Sometimes Lego pickup trucks aren't able to pick up very much, but this one is able to, you know, actually offer its bed as a place to put cargo with the studs there so you can attach all sorts of things there and of course the studs on the top allow you to attach the kayak up there I think this has a pretty rugged look from the front the color scheme is pretty good they don't have too much in the way of weird colors showing through here I mean the weirdest thing is just that tan plate on the base but at least it's not yellow or green you know or blue Lego likes to show green and blue a lot of the time Sometimes I like to show yellow through fenders, you know, you look behind there. But here, nah, this looks pretty well finished off. So I appreciate the, the care there. Kind of the default at Lego is to, to leave little pieces, you know, that you don't want to see visible from the outside. So it actually requires a change on their part to, to not do that. Figure goes in there. It's, tight quarters for him, but he does have enough space. Got the suggestion of a third brake light back there at the back. And there we go. Yeah, so, you know, I think maybe his, his head is a little bit high, but uh, maybe that's a good thing because he can see over the, the, you know, the hood little hump there. So I guess that works out pretty well. And, you know, he's one single plate above the base of this low chassis piece. Let's take a closer look at that figure though. So it comes with a life jacket piece or you can see it as a PFD if you want. I guess it kind of looks more like a PFD to me. That's just an add-on part. Let me go ahead and take that off. And there you see it is not a new torso print beneath but I think it is absolutely an appropriate one for this set and for its setting. Just a zip-up hoodie. You know, so it's easy to layer up, layer down. Totally makes sense for going out into the outdoors. And, you know, it's just a fine figure. It doesn't have a lot of detail, just the printed torso, you know, no printed legs or anything, but I think it's okay. Last up, these are the leftovers, and that is that. Overall, I am glad that none of these sets are bad. I personally like off-road racing and off-road racing vehicles, but strangely, or Unexpectedly, this is my least favorite of the four, mostly because of that little gap there that's a little bit weird to me, and because the other three are just a little bit better for what they are. I think that's one of the best small construction pieces of equipment that LEGO has done. You know, it's actually a little bit realistic, a little bit more realistic than they usually are. This car is just sleek. I don't know. I, I can see it depending upon how I look at it, I, I can kind of see it being a bit plain, but uh, looking at the exact same thing in a different way, I can see it as refined. I don't know. I tend to lean a little bit more towards the latter. And then this just gives you a lot of play value and a very good truck, you know, just regular pickup. We don't get that many regular pickup trucks, you know, they usually have something attached to them to be tow trucks or or something you know something specific to a play scenario play pattern that they want you to go with but this is just a regular pickup truck and it's very usable and a nice build so i think all four of these sets are pretty cool hope you enjoyed looking at these i did build all four of these sets also in a single video on my build channel so you can check that out if you like to i will link to it right now and i'll talk to you again as soon as i can